welcome to Live Like an Athlete. Today it's really windy, so we're going to talk about tennis in the wind. First, we're going to talk about footwork. What do you all think when you're waiting to hit a ball? Should you take the first step with the foot closest to the ball, or should you cross step? Good. First step with the foot closest to the ball, then run to the ball and hit it, and shuffle back. Uh, why do you shuffle back to the center of the court? Why don't you just run back to the center of the court? Good. You have to be ready at all times. For example, if I run back, then the guy can hit the ball behind me. So I want to shuffle back so I could come back and hit it over here. Excellent. Should I take little steps or should I take big steps when I'm running to a ball? Little steps, because little steps allow you to adjust in the wind, especially if the wind pulls the ball a little bit in any direction, then you'll be able to handle it much easier. Now, when you're serving in the wind, should you toss the ball higher or lower? Lower, good, because you'll be able to control the ball much better. Excellent. Now, as you're moving towards the close of the net, and the opponent hits a, a lob, and I move back to the overhead, should I run back like this or shuffle sideways? Shuffle sideways, good. You'll be able to get back quickly and without any problem. As you move closer to the net, does your backswing increase or does it shorten? Shorten. So that when you're at the net, do you actually swing or do you just punch at the ball? Punch. Great. On low balls, do you bend like this or do you bend your knees? Bend your knees. Because you'd like to keep your racket head above your wrist and keep your eyes focused on the ball. If you hit a backhand, if you're hitting a one-handed backhand, do you change your grip to hit the one-handed backhand or do you just keep the same grip and swing like this? Change grip or not? Change grip so that the racket head is parallel to the net at contact. On a windy day like this, should you try to hit the ball barely skimming the top of the net or aim three feet over the net? Three feet over the net, excellent. And finally, on a windy day, let's say you're serving your second serve. Would it be a good idea to hit it with spin or hit it flat in order to control the trajectory? Okay, spin, yes, spin allows the ball to dip down into the court. Well, thanks for joining us on a really windy day here in Northeast Texas. Live like an athlete. See you next week.